Hey guys, it's Crazy Zaw. It's time for another water theme tutorial today, so hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so here's what it looked like in the end, very watery obviously. There's definitely some improvements that could be made in like the overall color and as well as the foam. I was trying to get the foam to be more detailed, but it wasn't really working out for me, so this is the final result. Before we start, I just wanted to let you guys know that the Blender Anime Ocean add-on is released. If you're enthusiastic about this type of stuff and you want to make oceans like this within a few clicks, completely customizable, definitely check it out. It took a while to put together and I think the result has been really good. Alright, so let's get into the shader. I've set up a node group so it's completely customizable, all the parameters are right here. First thing I want to tell you guys though is to add an HDRI. Um, I already added one in this file, but if you haven't added one, literally just click on that file icon and you add an HDRI. And you can download one for free on a site like HDRI Haven, that's where I got this one, this uh, sunset one. Also it's really important that you set the look to very high contrast and set the curves to what I have it as here. You don't have to do this actually, but it will it'll just make it look a lot better, and so that's why I think it's a good idea. And here I'm just playing around with the shader. You can see you can adjust all of these parameters right here. Saturation, hue, bump, all that good stuff. You can change the scale as well, you can change how much foam there is. You can also affect the transparency if you want it to be more or less transparent. And there's some other features here. Obviously there's a parameter to animate the water, to animate the foam as well. Now I'm just going to show you guys the nose a bit. Basically right here we just started off with a gradient. We ran it through some RGB curves nodes to give it a proper look. Over here we have the bump map, so this is what the bump map looks like, which actually gives it the waves. And over here is just like an extra thing I added, which makes it look a little nicer. And down here what we have is the foam. And right here is the Fresnel effect, which actually gives it its transparency when you look at it like from a certain angle. And yeah, that's basically it for the shader. There's a few other important things you guys should know about this though. If you scale it down like this, you'll have to compensate by adjusting the bump parameter on the shader node. Also, if you guys are going to use this, I recommend just duplicating it from this file and using the, using the plane like this. Also, in order to use this, it's a really good idea to put one on top of the other. Like, you'll use one plane, then duplicate it, and set it under it, because the way the transparency works, I've found that it just looks better if you stack two things on top of each other like that. So, yeah, just use the two of them together, instead of just one plane. 